Overall, sir. Your weapon? Little. Zane, Chris, congratulations. You boys have made it into the final round of this competition. Now we're sending you back to your home for just to recreate an iconic weapon from history. That weapon is the Revolutionary War Sergeant Spontoon. Hmm. Good luck. We'll see you in four days. We're back in Waxhaw, and I have to make a Sergeant Spontoon. I decided to use 5160 for the blade steel because it is relatively easy to heat treat, but also holds up very well when under duress. My main goal is to elongate this piece of steel that will eventually become the blade so that it meets the requirements. Yeah, it's a slow press, but it's OK. I'm back in my home forge. Uh, I'm ready to get started. I'm excited. I'm going to build a uh, Damascus billet. I'm going to try to get as many layers as I can. I think it'll impress the judges and hopefully hold up really well in the tests. I got my main billet cleaned up. I'm going to cut it and restack it, get it to the size I need, and then I can hopefully start getting the point shaped out. Day two, I'm going to be working on the socket, getting that more fit and finished. I'm also going to grind and hopefully heat treat my blade. For the heat treat, I'm going to be using this oven right here. It works really well with temperature control. I can keep my blade exactly the temperature that I want it for how long I want it. I am nervous that my heat treat is not going to go well. I could have the blade snap. I could have it warp. I could have it just not harden at all. I don't hear any tinking sounds, so that's good. Tinks are usually cracks, and it's hard. And I am so excited. Woo! That was scary. Yesterday, I got the cross guard and the spear to shape. The cross guard being a separate piece is a concern of mine. I am going to have to forge weld that for structural integrity reasons. Probably going to get into some uh, welding with the MIG welder just to reinforce everything. And hopefully after that, get it ready for a heat treat. Day three is here. I plan on finishing up my blade, and then I am going to weld my tang and my guard to my socket. That's pretty good. It's day four, I'm a spontoon build. The first thing I got to do today is get the haft cut out and uh, shape down. I layered the wood up. Hopefully, the difference in grain structure will help in strengthness and flexibility. Uh, I left it sort of octagonal. Um, I think it would give a little better grip. Now it's time to get my haft attached to my uh, spontoon spearhead. This is a hell of a build. I'm tired. I'm sore. I think it looks awesome. I cut one. I'm good. <laughs> All right, Blazefist, welcome to the kill test. Now we'll take your weapon. There were some thrusts and slashes on this wild boar carcass. Zane, you're up first. You ready for this? Ready as I'll ever be. All right, Zane, let's talk about your weapon here. First up, your tip is really made to thrust. It punctures really deep when I'm thrusting with it, but I can move with this weapon. You have a good balance here. The edge here is sharp. As you can see, those are very, very deep, sharp cuts. Overall, sir, your weapon will kill. Thank you, Doug. All right, Chris, it's your turn. You ready? Yes, sir. All right, Chris, let's talk about your weapon here. What I love about this is when you're thrusting, I can feel the weight in front and crunch ribs as it's penetrating. Overall, sir, your weapon will keel. Thank you, sir.
All right, gentlemen, say hello to my little friend. <laughs> to test the strength and durability of your blades, we're going to be firing them out of our air cannon here into that wooden wall. All right, Zane, you're up first. This thing is going to launch my spontoon, my baby, at a wall of wood. I'm an odd mixture between excited and nervous right now. In three, two, one, fire. All right, Zane, nothing came apart. It still has the edge that it started out with. All in all, good job. Thank you. Nice job. All right, Chris, you're up. Firing in three, two, one, fire. Oh, holy wow. Good job, Chris. OK, your weapon went right in between those boards, so it actually took all the impact up here on these lugs. Everything's still straight, still sharp. I really like that pattern you've got on there. Nicely done. Thank you. OK. It's nice. All right, bladesmiths, welcome to the sharpness test, the red coat stab and slice. To test the sharpness of your edge, I will take your weapon and slash and stab across this red coat. Zane, you're first. Let's do it. All right, Zane, your edges are sharp. On the swing of that, it does cut. But what I do find here, there's a little bit of a glinting at your tip that catches on my nails. It rolled a little bit right there at your tip. But otherwise, sir, it will cut. Thank you. All right, Chris, your turn. Let's do this. Things have uh, actually been really even between Zane and I. I just hope that my spontoon, it's strong and sharp enough. <laughs> this is it. All right, Chris, this is a very razor sharp blade. Every slash and thrust was a deep cut. I do not see any damage to your edge. Overall, sir, this weapon will cut. Thank you. Zane, Chris, you guys have done fantastic work on these finale weapons, but there can only be one Forged and Fire champion. The judges have made their final decision, and that Forged and Fire champion is. Chris, congratulations. You are the new Forged and Fire champion. Congratulations, man. Zane, unfortunately, your weapon took some damage during the sharpness test, which affected the efficacy of your cuts. For that reason, I'd like to invite you to shake my hand, shake your judge's hand, and then please leave the forge. Come on, my friend. Meet you guys. Good job, brother. I did not win, but that's OK. It's a great weapon. I came here to prove that I was able to compete with some of the big dogs, and I think I've made my point. I hope that I'll be able to keep improving upon my craft and just get better and better. Chris, you crafted a better weapon that held up through the tests. Congratulations, you were the Forge of Fire champion, and that's a title that comes with a check for $10,000. Good job, brother. Come over here and shake our hands. Absolutely. I just became Forge of Fire champion. <laughs> that's crazy. I'm, like, turning inside out right now. <laughs> I got the bragging rights, man. I can just keep moving ahead, uh, keep doing what I'm doing. 